So in this video, we're going to create a character using Character Creator 5. Very simple, very quick. Um, let's go. So let's start off with the blank slate. Now I'm going to go straight into Actor Mixer. Uh, base Mail, yes. So this is going to be one of the main pilots, one of the main characters in the web series. Um, I did create one previously, but I just kind of want to recreate it and go through the whole process from start to finish. So we'll just give this a sec to initialize. And so now our character has loaded and we've got Actor Mixer open, which is pretty cool. This is a very quick way of um, doing kind of like a big overarching edit of your character. So for instance, if I go start mixing down the bottom and then up here, I can select some of the predefined characters. So this is obviously the main one that they've been showcasing with Character Creator 5. <laughs> we've got a goblin, um, one of the cartoon characters. And so, yeah, I think this one is Kevin by the looks of it. But if we kind of go kind of more, I think I might go here-ish for this one. But then we can come into the head and then we can do kind of like that's the new character head. Well, actually, how about we zoom in on this, uh, shall we? And then, yeah, we can move around. So obviously, <clears throat> that's not bad. Moving around, trying to find the position. I am liking this one. And I think we might move it to about there with the head. But now we can actually go through and do more quick adjustments. Um, not only just like the overall shape of the head, but we can do the overall shape of the head. It's more, the first one here was all about, you know, everything of the head, you know, nose, mouth, blah, blah, blah. But this is more around the head shape. And so let's try and find something, yeah, about there, I reckon, with the eyes. And so you can kind of see how we change it. I actually liked it where we were. I don't want to move too far though. Now the reason for that is, is because it's taking into account this character and you can see how we've already pushed all the way to the line. So really here, this is how much space we've only got to work in before we start doubling up those um, sliders. So maybe we'll dial this one back a little bit and we will go, yeah, a little bit like that, the nose. Now the nose was something pretty important because what I want is I want a big uh, nose like mine is what I was kind of thinking. And especially because I'm going to be voicing one of the characters. That's nice. I was actually, I think that nostril's way too big. But this is something we can come in maybe adjust a little bit later. Where are we going? Yeah, about here, I reckon. Cool, we'll go with that. And then mouth, I'm happy with jaw. So we're just moving around, trying to find that nice jaw. Let's maybe bring it down. Yeah, there, that's it. Ears, I'm not too fussed with ears. Ooh, actually. So definitely not poking out. I'm more inclined to there and skull, perfect. I like that, that looks great. And then with the body, we can do the exact same thing. So the thing is with this one here is I don't really have a tubby body because that's what I'm kind of thinking. I mean, these are pilots. They're living out in spaceships. So, oh, can I do, hmm, how do I bring them in? Looks like all that we need to do was change the package type. And so now we've kind of got, obviously we can get beefed up, which is not what we're wanting. You know, we can go down to the lich scale, but I'm more leaning to kind of like a, yeah, a bit of a tubby guy. I think we can extend that a little bit more. Let's go into body type. And can we do anything in here? Nothing of interest there. So let's go start mixing there. Drag these. Nope. Can we go back here? Let's go remove that one. And now hopefully we can throw in. There it is. That's what I was after. Let's go back and start mixing. Now we've got a heavy body, which is what I was after. Very stationary. Think of, I want to say a trucker. I know, I know, but this is kind of the idea. Now, legs are okay. I think I think we've got a good character here. So let's leave it at that. So I'm gonna close this off. Okay, so now we've got our base character. Is there anything I wanna change? Let's not just yet. What I actually am gonna go through is probably add in, kind of wanna go skin. So let's collapse that skin. Let's go into overall, um, we'll go into the normal. And then I do wanna apply Oh, we've already got the neutral skin on, but if I were to throw on the Kevin skin and we're gonna just apply that, I think it actually kind of works. 
I mean, yeah, the dude's got abs and so on and so forth and texture, but it doesn't necessarily really matter. We're more after the face because, I mean, at the end of the day, we're not going to see him walking around like, actually, we do in one scene. Ah, that's fine. But to me, that's looking good. Eyes, I'm thinking something, some sort of dark eyes. So maybe brown too. Yep, material only. Nice, that's looking good. Let's go down. I want to add in hair. So I don't think this is the view that we're after. Yeah, definitely not that. Let's go into hair elements, hair. I'm just going to kind of flick through all my menus and see what we can pull out. Hair groups is what I was after. Um, let's go stylized. Nope, because they're all the tune ones. What does space travel do to you? I'm thinking something short. Slick back. I'm I'm pretty good for that. I think that suits him quite well. But we're after stubble as well as a beard because of the character is um, a little bit stressing out about things that are happening. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes, absolutely. Um, obviously, I've got the browse and build a library. So I've got a little bit of extra beards and so on and so forth, which I like to utilize. So we've got how is there any eyebrows we can throw on? Because I don't think he's got eyebrows. He does not. He does have eyebrows. Okay. Then I'm going to leave that as is. But I think that is looking great. Let's get down. Let's put some clothes on the chap. So one thing I do want to learn is to make clothes. And so do I go down the Marvelous Designer route? Or do I just stick with Blender? That's something I need to just sit down and work out. Um, you know, there's tools like the Garment Tool and Simply Cloth that we can use. Um, but that's another learning outcome. I'm actually trying to refine my hard surface modeling a bit more. i um, been buying a few courses, but we are after something that a pilot would wear. Now I'm thinking a simple basic t-shirt is all we need here. It's white and I think that is enough. Yeah, I don't think we can put in a linen shirt, for instance. Oh, actually, no, nah, I'm buying that. I was thinking of putting a shirt and a jacket but that fits quite well. And it does look a little bit dirty, which is nice. Let's make sure, oops, I've lost it. I think we're okay. So, cause obviously when we're looking at camera view, this is what we're looking at. And I'm okay with that. Nice. Obviously underwear, we will delete underwear in a sec. I don't want that there. Um, just because it can sometimes overlap. We just want um, as minimal issues as possible. So let's go slim jeans. Nice. That's actually really nice. And we can see some clipping here so we can fix that up. So what we can do is with our jeans selected, we can go into edit mesh. We can come down and go soft selection. So if you're a Blender user, it's kind of like using proportional editing. And then I can press W and then we just move bits and pieces around. Where else are we? Just trying to make sure that we're selecting all the right stuff here. Nice. Is there anything else? I think we're looking good there. Did I see a smidgen? Nope. That's the button. Nice. Great. And then once we're done, we just go edit mesh. And then that takes us out of edit mode. Obviously this guy needs some shoes. I think shoes is something I'm lacking in the library. So I might have to go out and purchase some more. I'm actually half thinking, I haven't downloaded these. Thinking like some sort of slip ons maybe. <laughs> Oh, these aren't the colored ones. Sorry. Let's go into here. Slip-ons. We'll download these ones, please. And let's go green. Uh, we'll just go the material only because don't have to redo it. Mm, don't like that. Let's try the brown material only. And I think what we might do, yeah, we might just come in and edit those ones and we just change the color a bit. So we come down, diffuse. No, there's another section. Actually, nope, this is the one. So if we bring it down to brown, dark, okay. And I think, yeah, we've got our main character here. I like the fact that he's got big hands. <laughs> Just, it's all upper body. I think that's great. Lower legs, we don't really need. That's cool. I do like that. So if we wanted to as well, we could open up the digital souls. Let's have a look. Feels dislike. I know that he is going to be stupid unhappy most of the time. So if we kind of throw this animation, now this is more for iClone. 
but this is where we can come in and put our animations over the top and it gives us that kind of stuff. That's awesome. I <laughs> love the scale. And there we have it, a character that we've created in Character Creator 5. Actually, I've noticed something that with his eyes, his, his eyeballs are obviously clipping the eyelashes. Interesting, but we can fix that. So if we come over into our sliders here, now you've got to remember that we've got like full control of these sliders, um, especially if we come down to the body, for instance, we've got all these micro adjustments we can do to our face. Wow, we can even add like crow's feet. That's cool. Anyway, so we need to, not that one, we need to move the eyes out a little bit. So I'm going to assume maybe under head, eyes, eye scale, uh, eye depth. No. Oh, actually, that one's there. Eye lower depth. Do we have an eye upper? Maybe eye depth. No, so that's moving everything, which is not what we want. <laughs> I just go into a different keyframe. I love the fact that this eye is just in there like that. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's moving it left and right. That is a little bit freaky. Eyeball depth. No. Let's move the eyeballs back. There we go. Let's see what that does now. Much better. There we go. 